Hey guys, so this is my second time filming this video. The first video was out of focus the whole video, so yeah, I'm hoping this one works out just fine. <laughs> My first favorite is this sunscreen by Bure and to me this is hands down the best sunscreen I have ever tried because it's not sticky at all instead it actually makes your skin kind of fall very smooth when you use it My second favorite is this Kiehl's Microdermabrasion I have a lot of those stents on my skin because acne scar and this kind of helps to kind of smooth out and even out my skin Yeah, I don't know why I just hold my temple but I mean temple is it, it yeah I think it's called temple right yeah but I mean my skin <laughs> okay my other favorite is this Vita Cream B12 Vita Blanc it's supposed to reduce the dark spots on your skin but I personally love it because when I use this cream most of my acne are like those pistol tiny acne and I only get cystic acne on my period and it's only like one or two usually I used to get like five cystic acne at once and also I didn't get as much box scar anymore since I used those my last skincare favorite is this one it's Diva Beauty drink and it's a collagen drink I have only drunk it drink, drink, drink. I have only drunk it since like November I think but I feel like I need to put this in a 2016 favorite because when I drink this my cystic acne they just kind of like deflate instead of dry out and you know flake off my skin and leaving a scar um, I don't get acne scarring ever since I used this so the combination of this and the Vita Cream B12 is like my current go-to so as you can see I have colored hair and to achieve this color I have bleached my hair for like five times I think so yeah it's pretty ruined and it's kind of dry which is why I always look for a hair oil that will kind of help to moisturize to nourish my hair and out of like four or five brands that I have tried my favorite is this one by Shios it's their oil elixir um, I actually have been using the Shios conditioner and hair mask for like ever so I guess it's no surprise that I love their hair oils as well the only thing though I cannot find this anymore where I live so my second favorite this is also another product that I only tried like early December or something Okay, I need to tell you what it is first. It's a heat protection by Lucido L. It also makes my curl holds longer. But the main reason why I love this, you know how when you go to like a place where there are a lot of cigarette smokes, the smokes will like kind of lingers on your hair, so your hair will smell like a cigarette smoke. And I hate the smell of cigarette smoke. But when I use this, my hair smells nice. My favorite, Sherlock. They are supposed to have a new season this year, but it got postponed to next year. But they did release one episode earlier this year and mine blown. 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 Like, it is so good, guys. I mean, if you guys love Sherlock Holmes type of thing, you really should try to watch the Sherlock the British TV series. My second favorite TV series this year, I only started watching this like this year, is The Middle. It's kind of similar to Modern Family, but it's more down to earth. It's more relatable, I guess. I just think it's funnier, and there are more continuation in it. So yeah, if you guys love Modern Family, maybe you guys can give the middle a try because I think it's a little bit better. For movies, one of my favorite this year is Utopia. It's like my most favorite animation that Disney or Pixar has ever come out with in the recent years. Like, I know Frozen was really big, but I actually haven't watched Frozen until now. <gasps> but yeah, um, Tangled is also pretty good. Um, and then those popular yellow thing. Oh, I always forget the name. The Minion, yeah. The Minion is pretty good too, but when I saw those movies, it's like, nah, okay, it's good, but okay but when i watched Zootopia i was like oh my god this is so good you know you know what i mean okay yeah so Zootopia and then my other favorite is the Danish girl i actually wanted to watch it because Eddie Redmayne is in it <laughs> and i love him ever since i saw him in the theory of everything it's actually based on a real story about one of the first transgender women to have a sex change operation and that also kind of intrigued me to watch the movie and it I'm, I'm glad I did because it's a really great movie. And my last favorite is Fantastic Beasts 
and where to find them. Again, I wanted to watch it because Eddie Redmayne is in it. <laughs> but I also want to watch it because earlier this year, I binge watched the Harry Potter series from the first film to the last film, like in a week, I think. And that was the first time I watched the Harry Potter series and it's actually really good. I mean, I know that it's gotta be good because it's really popular, but I've never actually watched the whole series before. I only watched like the sixth or seventh film, I think. Yeah, I I love it. It's it's really good. I get it now. I get it why so many people love Harry Potter. It's a really good story. I think I'm gonna read the novel eventually if I can find the time and the money to buy like the whole set. So yeah. <laughs> That's all for this video. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day as always. And I also hope your 2017 will be an amazing year. Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!